Okay, what is what is the best way to use the motives of credibility for apologetic purposes? And can you give an example for each motive? Okay, so that wow, you guys see, look, see, look, I, I am psyoping you guys and asking good questions. And I mean, this is gonna this is gonna sound kind of crazy for you guys uh, if you're not used to this. This will sound very Pope Francis-y, actually, but this is just simply the the traditional teaching. Basically, the the number one motive of credibility for the people that you know in your daily life is you, 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 you right there out there, you, you listening right now, you are the number one motive of credibility. You really what it is, is it's the moral miracle that's present in your life. The moral miracle that's present in your life. Basically the effects of grace on you the way in which you act and the way in which you you become transformed into imaging Christ, that is the greatest motive of credibility for people. Sure, of course, people are going to uh, ask the questions. You need to be ready to give an answer. People are going to dispute with things. You need to you need to resolve these objections for them, or at least give them material that resolves these objections for them. But you and the effects of grace on your life is going to be the greatest motive of credibility that they could ever have. I mean, that's just, that's just the way in which uh, the saints speak. The ones, you know, the ones say, uh, people say, you know, San and I are indifferent to this, blah, 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 blah. But I mean, that's, that's the way in which the ones who you read these lives of the saints and they just went around and just like converted masses. Why, why? Okay. So let, tell me this. Why would somebody like, uh, let's think about St. Catherine of Siena. She was said to have always, you know, converted anybody she met. Why, why with her, when she met somebody and talked with them, why did they convert from her, uh, but not from, you know, just some random individual arguing for, for the Catholic religion? It wasn't the fact that she was some sort of like, you think she was some sort of like expert rhetorician? Or something like that? Or you think that she was just like a very strong dialectician? Is that is that what you think happened? You think they were just like, wow, her arguments are really good. I guess I'm going to stop sinning. No, it's because they they saw, uh, whether intuitively or, or sort of in an explicit manner, they, they saw that there had been a, a sort of transformation of grace in her life. And they and she became a motive of credibility for those people. So, I mean, that's, that's the answer uh, for you right there. That's the answer.